To be a Jew is to be thankful. The name Yehuda, Yehudim, comes from the word Yehuda, Judah, and in his very name of the great son of Leah, Yehuda, is thankfulness. Toda Hoda'ah. But there's an unbelievable insight from Midrash at the very name of Yehuda that requires explanation because incredibly, Yehuda was the fourth son of Leah, the fourth son born to Jacob. And yet when he was born, what does Leah say? She says, Hapa'am Odet Hashem. This time I will thank God. And therefore she calls his name Yehuda, thankfulness. Really? You had to wait for a fourth child before you said thank you? What about Ruvain, Shimon, Levi, you had three children, then you didn't thank? Only the fourth child? Normally the first child is the one which is the beginning, it's the original Simcha, we are happy. Why the fourth child? And furthermore, the Gemara Masechet Brachot Dav Zayin says that there was no human being who thanked God until Leah came along and thanked Hashem. There was something about the thankfulness in the birth of Yehuda which was transformative, which brought something new to the world about the essence of what it means to be grateful. And here is the answer to this unbelievable question brought by Rashi in the Midrash. You see, the reason why Leah could not have it say genuinely, express a genuine thank you before, is because she expected to have three children. The Midrash said that there was a premonition that the mothers that Leah knew that there would be 12 children born to Jacob. And fairness expectation meant that each of the four mothers would have three children. And therefore Leah somehow intuited and expected that she would have three children. And here is the unbelievable thing. Genuine, um, genuine gratitude and thankfulness begins where expectation ends. Appreciation can only be born genuinely when we rid ourselves of our expectations. When we expect things to be good, we expect good health, we expect life to be simple, we expect to have children, we expect everything just to be the way we expect it to be. We can never truly be thankful because on some level, Consciously, Magieli, I'm getting this because on some level, I deserve it. Where layers, um, on every level, expectation ended, her genuine appreciation began. And may we all, Bezrat Hashem, in our lives have this appreciation. You see, M. Scott Peck says in the book, The Road Less Traveled, an amazing book, where he says, people, in the opening chapter, people expect life to be easy. They think everything is going to be so simple. And then when it's not, they have a crisis. He says, free ourselves of expectation. So much of life spiritually needs to be uh, lived where we free ourselves of expectation. Live it as it is. And we embrace life as it is. Everything we have is a blessing from Hashem. And please God in all of our lives, may we free ourselves of, of, of these expectations. Because where expectation ends is where genuine appreciation begins. Shabbat Shalom.